It was an amazing event. Thank you so much for partnering with us. What's your key takeaways from the event tonight? So, I took three takeaways from the um, from this event. So, for startup next year, adaptability uh, is really the new way to uh, behave and uh, become in order to thrive throughout the COVID recovery and also uh, through the uncertain times that we may still have uh, in the coming months or years. Uh, second one is financing and getting funds. Uh, being attractive will, will be very important and having uh, be ready for due diligence and having uh, very strong financials and very strong uh, uh, business case is even more important and technology readiness, technology due diligence will be even more important than uh, last year. And then on, on three, yes, software is eating the world, but uh, we also want to make an impact. So uh, clean tech, um, med tech, agri and food tech will also uh, grow next year. Okay, great. And so what type of uh, companies and founders do you want to um, to back uh, in 2021? So uh, we've launched our accelerator um, in Australia uh, this year. Um, and uh, we are specifically focusing uh, on investing and supporting entrepreneurs that develop solutions that address environmental impact in terms of emissions reduction, impact on water, sustainable water, sustainable air and quality of air, as well as, uh, as, well as elimination of waste. And we're also obviously uh, looking at uh, clean energy startups as well. So our program is on a rolling basis. Um, uh, so it's a 12-week uh, mentorship program that we specifically tailor to each startup to address uh, their challenges. And uh, we also support uh, the startups with a $150,000 investment. Okay, great. Good luck for next year and uh, looking forward to, uh, to the progress of uh, the Brink Accelerator. Thank you, very, thank you very much and uh, thank you for uh, letting us partnering with you.